Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today is going to be a video about why I think you should start a YouTube channel today and don't delay. There's TikTok, there's Instagram, there's Facebook, there is YouTube obviously. One of the reasons why I think you should start YouTube today is if you have any desire to put whatever you have a passion for, whatever you feel that you would like to connect with any other person with and share your skills or not even just share your skills but just to educate perhaps even just do how-to videos I don't even know how this video is going to turn out to be honest I've never done a why you think you should start a YouTube channel video in my life um, but backtrack just a little bit Nine years ago, I was one of those people where I was like, love watching beauty YouTube videos. Absolutely obsessed. And I thought to myself, I just, I would love to do it. And the number one thing that would be holding me back was the fear of being in front of a camera and the fear of not knowing how to edit my videos. Now, I'm not the best and I never will be because I think that in terms of wanting to skill yourself and be an excellent editor in whatever you want to do, practice makes perfect, right? And so I fested on this for like nine years up until two years ago in 2022, 2nd of August, I decided to upload my first video and that was with the help of watching countless YouTube videos, you know, reassuring myself that it was okay, knowing that it was going to be cringy, knowing that it was going to be terrible. And most of my videos are probably still terrible, let's face it. I am still learning. I'm still not 100% comfortable in front of the camera. As a matter of fact, you can tell from my body language that I, it's very foreign for me to be just talking naturally in front of a camera, but I am getting better as I go along, as the years go along. Now, obviously I'm more I'm more comfortable doing how-to videos in terms of doing makeup tutorials, etc. But when it comes to just talking about why I think you should start YouTube, then that's a different, that's, that's a whole different story. But I think you should start YouTube if you feel like you just want to be on camera to connect with other people and let people know that if you have some sort of a hobby, whether it be an arts and craft hobby, whether it be makeup, whether it be how to fix a car, whether it be how to teach Excel, you know, whether it be how to upholster furniture, whether it be gardening tips, whether it be just anything, anything that you think is going to help people's day, do it. And it's not just that. You know, I'm one of these people that just love watching YouTube videos randomly. I'll put it on and recently I'm, look, Lee, recently now, I am absolutely obsessed with watching this seashell channel. Shout out to Southwest Florida lady. Oh God, Southwest Florida seashells. Anyway, I can't remember the name exactly, but nothing better. I just turn it on. She, do, she goes like every Sunday and she does shelling at a beach in Florida. And I just binge watch her videos pretty much all day, every day. And they are so soothing to me. They are my meditation. They are, they just take me to the beach. I pretty much feel like I'm there with her walking on the sand and picking up seashells. And you know, YouTube is just a way, you know, yeah, you could say it's an escapism like regular TV, like Netflix anything really just scrolling on your phone watching youtube videos can do that but it can also educate you and it can also help i think with a lot of things like depression and mental illness and also it can uplift your spirits so whatever it is that you have whatever skill set that you have and you want to share it with the world youtube is one of the best platforms to do it on now if you have a fear of the camera 
that's totally normal it's totally fine but you've got to start somewhere you can start with just a smartphone or you can start with just a normal camera so long as you can connect it to your computer download the file upload it into youtube first thing create a youtube channel you know all of that comes with a learning experience and it's fun to learn but what i will say is you know you just have to start and there's nothing that is going to make it any easier once you get once once you get over that first video and it's uploaded so i was so afraid of just having like one video go up and just you know knowing that it was just one video that people are going to watch me thinking it's going to be um like i knew it wasn't going to be viewed but i got a couple of views i think i got like 21 views on the first video and to this very day i have no idea how many views that was i know it was the 25 days of ColourPop single eyeshadows that i did i challenged myself to do a video every single day for 25 days because i had the ColourPop eye single no, the ColourPop um dream of best life i've got it somewhere can't remember it now but it was a 25 single eyeshadow pan video so every day i would take out an eyeshadow and i apply it on my eyes and i did that for 25 days straight but i was too scared to upload each video every day so i was scheduling them um to start so I, I think i filmed a batch of 14 videos first and i had them all saved and then i started scheduling the videos to sort of um take to be scheduled sort of like upload every day if you know what i mean so that way i knew that if people wanted to watch day one day two day three day four they had something to watch me being really like eager and confident thinking that that was going to happen <laughs> uh but look even to this day i'm still learning i'm still not 100 percent on the same page as the algorithm but i have learned a lot of things and i'm getting there and i just love what i do and i love doing the tutorials and i love makeup and hopefully i can get to articulate myself a little bit better the more i get confident with sitting in front of the camera so look at me all nerves and all and i'm sitting here raw and telling you like it is that you can do it and you would be surprised how natural you could be you could be a real just talker and people just gravitate towards you and love watching you and suddenly you might become even addicted um you know for me i guess i am getting a little bit sort of you know um what's the word i'm, I'm looking for wanting to venture out of doing just 100 percent makeup tutorials you know i'm starting to maybe maybe have a different vibe with my videos i still haven't really worked it out yet but that's the whole fun of it you know um now i do have another channel as well i'm not going to mention it in this video but i do have another channel so i've got two channels my makeup channel and an asmr video channel which surprisingly is doing better than my makeup channel and uh yeah so you know you don't have to just have one channel you can have many you can have um, one for cooking you could have one for gardening you could have one for like i said guitar playing you could have one for teaching how to play the piano you could have one for painting you could have one for i don't know um just how to make a cardboard hat anything you really could but um you know for me lately what i've been doing is just binge watching a lot of artists in terms of you know painting styles because i really love people who can sketch and paint and you know um, also doing designs and stuff like that so cover art if you if you um if you will but guys i'm just thinking you have something that you can share with the world do it don't let your nerves hold you back because you can do it you can do it i i really wish that i could just tell you exactly what i'm trying to say without you know tripping over my words because pretty much that's what i'm doing at the moment so do i think youtube is worth it i think everyone would have to answer that for themselves but yeah i definitely think it's worth it you know it's not only something that if you desire to make it a full-time job which is pretty much my aim at the moment i'm not quite there yet i still have a long way to go but that is my aim to be doing youtube full-time amongst other 
types of passions that I have going on the side as well. But yeah, I think YouTube's definitely worth it. And when you create any piece of content, you should feel satisfied that it's something that you are putting out there into the world and for the sake of goodness, you know, for the sake of people learning and discovering and, you know, someone might really need your help on knowing how to do a certain thing. You know, today I'm absolutely having the worst makeup day out. You should have seen me just sitting here at my desk and I was like, oh, I, did, I had my glasses on and I didn't have any contact lenses on and I couldn't see what I was doing. So bad makeup day today, guys, bad makeup day today. But still, I'm here in front of the camera and I'm pretty much set my goal because this video is going up on the 2nd of August. I'm filming today is the 1st of August and that was my aim. I wanted to put out the video and tell you guys that I think you should do a YouTube channel uh, because, you know, I think it's worth it. Now, in terms of how much money I have made while doing YouTube, I'm actually quite embarrassed to tell you. It's not much. Let's just say it's less than $300 and I've been doing YouTube now for... Mm, yeah, like I said, it's like I've been doing YouTube for two years and I've made less than $300 Australian since I've been on the channel. And that's fine. I wish I had a lot more views. I wish I had a lot more subscribers. But I'm not in a rush. This is a journey. YouTube is a journey. And, you know, do I have any regrets that I didn't start nine years ago of course i do because maybe i'd be where i am hoping i'd like to be right now so i do have the regret that i wish i did start sooner and don't let it hold you back don't think that you're not good enough and it doesn't even have to be you sitting in front of the camera you could just be sitting in front of a computer and the camera's there and you're dawdling something on there you could be describing something you could be teaching something you could have a faceless youtube channel you could have just a bird watching channel. You could have a lawn mowing business channel. You know, what is it that tickles your fancy? Can you do it? Can you do it better? You know, maybe you can put a different spin on it. You can do a different take on that. You can, you know, they talk about niches. Well, you might have many niches. I have many niches, but one of my favorite niches is makeup and beauty and anything to do with makeup and beauty. So pretty much like, that's why I have my, Julie's makeup spot video. I'm 49 years old and had I started when I was 40, you know, I'd, I don't know where I'd be today, but I know I'd be more further than I was if I started two years ago. So I don't want you to have those regrets. Just turn your camera on, press record, and just put it out there. Don't be shy. Don't worry about editing. You can worry about all that stuff later. You can take a lesson. You can teach yourself. There's so many YouTube tutorials that will do that. However, it wouldn't. For me, I had to actually get somebody to hold my hand and do and show me how to do editing because I was so daunted by looking at the editing software and the interface of it. I just it was way over my head, so I had to actually physically pay somebody to help me do it, and it was worth it. It was excellent. It was only like three hours, and I picked it up, and you can too. So don't delay and start today, guys. I would love to hear about your thoughts on whether you have started a YouTube channel. Are you thinking of starting a YouTube channel? Um, what's holding you back? What are your fears? My phone's ringing. Don't waste any more time i know you can do it you can do it feel the fear and do it anyway feel the cringe do it anyway no one cares like nobody literally gives a shit honestly nobody does everyone has their own issues everyone has their own problems everyone thinks this about themselves you are your worst critic okay and if i have to be honest i really just love watching people fuck up i do i love it there's something real and raw about it do it and it just makes you stronger. Be vulnerable. Me, you should see this video. I'm, I'm probably going to edit out chunks out of it. I can't even talk. But at the end of the day, I just had to come on here and say, it's been my two years with YouTube. I still love doing YouTube videos. I hope to keep doing many more in the future. I think I will. And 
yeah i'll see you all again in my next video love you guys thank you so much for watching don't waste any more time bye for now